If you are happy to see today, shout Jesus! Father, we worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Begin to worship the King of Kings. We are going to welcome the presence of the King of Kings. Jesus said the first day of the program that he's here. I want us to worship him with all our hearts. Worship him. Worship him. Worship Jesus. Call on him. Worship Jesus. He is the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. Worship Jesus. Father, we worship you, Lord. We are going to worship Yahweh. He's our God. Father, we worship you, Lord. We bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We bless you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. We worship you. Worship the Lord. Just worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Say sweet things to the Lord. Father, we worship you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Father, we bless you. We worship you, Lord. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify you. Jesus, come and take over. Jesus, we worship you. We bless you. We glorify you. We worship you, Lord. You are the God who was, who is. And is to come. Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your hands to the Lord. And in you I trust. My life is in your hands. Jesus. In the mood of worship, Jesus. Miracle working on. I say, You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. Worship Jesus. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. you Lord you are to Yahweh give him the praise worship Jesus is here in our midst oh Jesus is Yahweh you are Yahweh you are Yahweh
worship the Lord. Begin to worship the Lord. Worship him, he's here with us. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Worship Jesus. Worship the Alpha and Omega. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you, Lord. We glorify you. Father, we worship you. Somebody call him Yahweh, you are Yahweh, hey, you are. The spirit of the Lord is moving in his flesh, call him Yahweh, you are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Lord, you are Yahweh. Alice, hold on, I want to hear the sound of the people. Sing to your Jesus. You are your yeah. As you are singing, all your problem, Yahweh is here to heal you. Begin to shout his name. Yahweh. Hey. Shout it as you mean it. Call on your father. He's here with you. His name is Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yes, reference him. Let the devil know we have a God. His name is Yahweh. His name is Jesus. You are Yahweh. Ha Everybody call him Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are. Oh, Jesus, you are. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. The Spirit of the Lord is moving in its place. You are Yahweh. Alpha. You are, you are, you are. For the last time, Jesus, you are Yahweh. Yes, Jesus, you are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are, you 
show us together for Jesus. Father, we love you. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You are Yahweh. You are our God. We honor you. Jesus, you are welcome. Come and take over. Come and bless us. Father, we welcome you. Welcome the King of Kings. Welcome the Lord of Lords. Welcome Jesus with the host of angels. Welcome the I am that I am. Welcome the one that say yes, no man can say no. Welcome Jesus in our midst. Father, we worship you, Lord. We reference you, Lord. You are our Yahweh. We worship you. We thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have worship. Everlasting Father, we hand over this hour to you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We pray that, Lord, may you descend and break yokes. In the mighty name of Jesus, open the eyes of your children today as I preach the word. In the name of Jesus, Father, you say your sheep hear your word and they honor you. And they follow you. They believe in you. They will trust in you. I don't have any power for them to believe. I pray that, Lord, you will speak through me to them so that they will believe and repent in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I arrest all the powers of darkness, witches and wizards, powers of marine. I silence them with the blood of Jesus. I tie them in the name of Jesus. I bind them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we come against every distraction in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of unbelief, I cast you out from every youth in the name of Jesus. Let the fear of God enter their hearts today. And Lord, I pray after this message, many names will be written in the book of life and lord they will go with testimony and rebuke every shame when they call out for altar call give them the boldness as a child of god thank you for everything lord let the holy spirit take over in jesus mighty name i pray put your hands together as you take your beautiful seat i greet you all in the name of jesus I'm happy to see all our beautiful youth again. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. For those of you that this is your first time coming to Holiness Eva Movement International Youth Conference, we want to welcome you. We pray that Lord you will come next year until the Lord Jesus come in Jesus' name. And those of you that were here last year, congratulations for more anointing in Jesus' name. I will go straight to my message. I was privileged by my father in the Lord to give me this opportunity and by God Almighty to preach this topic to you. Deliverance from pornography and evil dressing and lifestyle. Hallelujah. Deliverance from pornography and evil dressing and lifestyle. Hallelujah. Today, you know, when I like talking to youth, I like showing practical things. So that you will not just think that we are only speaking, we are only talking, nothing like this is happening. I like showing people practical things for people to know that these things are happening. And it's for you as a child of God, as a child of God, to get yourself ready. Because at any time, the trumpet will sound. The Lord will take us home. Hallelujah. So when I'm teaching or when i'm preaching i'm telling people about what is happening in the world i like showing practical things so that you will know that we are not just talking we are not liars here we prove things we say here hallelujah so that you will know that these things are real and get yourself ready to repent and come out of this sin because some of you are doing this thing but you don't know you are sinning but today your eyes will be open and then you will turn from darkness to light in Jesus' name. The first message, the first of the year is about pornography. We will ask ourselves, what is pornography? Hallelujah. It's a naked pictures of men and women meant to promote lust and sexual immorality. Women and men... You see youth, you see boys everywhere, young girls. You are seeing them now in the Facebook, you are seeing them in even the movie. All this nakedness is nothing to them again. Before we used to say it's the Western movie. They used to show their breasts, their back, all these things. African movie, they don't do like that. Even those days, the Indian movie, as we used to watch them, if they want to kiss, they will cover their face. You don't see when they kiss. But today, it's all over. 
nakedness. The hour of the Lord is coming. Everywhere is pollution. And these things that you are watching them, life, in a movie, you will not know that you are sinning. It includes actual acts of sexual immorality. Satan is the one planning all these things for you. Youth, some of you sitting here, your phone, you have naked pictures of girls, even yourself. You go to the beach, go to party, you say, hey, take me, I want somebody to take me a picture in this, my outfit. You know, wear only bikini, all this small panty, brayer. You are busy taking pictures, you save it on your phone. Sometimes you send it to your friends. You will sit down with, among boys in the university and say, see the way I spent my holiday. We went to this beach, we went to Lagos, we went to this. I was in a party, see the way I was living life. All this naked picture. And some of you, you boys, you'll be watching it. You lost after them. Hallelujah. It includes actual acts of sexual immorality recorded to be watched for this purpose. This is the plan of this pornographic movie, action, entertainment. Satan knows what he's doing. It's you, human, we don't know what you are doing. Satan is doing everything to capture a soul. All his plan is to make this pornographic movie, entertainment, go anywhere on books, everywhere, to pollute your mind. You cannot be watching this naked picture today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, one month, you are not polluted. It's a lie. You start seeing yourself. You, you listen to what our youthful, our choir brother was saying yesterday. He don't know how to come out of it. He started little by little. There is a spirit behind this thing. You will just say that, ah, it's only a picture now. It's on a picture now. I cannot do this to myself. Ha, see what people are doing. You will go there again tomorrow. See what people are doing. This world is wicked. You go there again tomorrow. By the time you know, you are now started touching yourself. Want to do practical. Some take pleasure in watching animal or human being copulate, which means meeting together for their sexual arousal. Some people just take pleasure in that. Some of you, you youth sitting here, you will go into your room, close your door so that your parents will not know what you are doing in your phone. You are busy watching this animal sex. Now, even in the cartoon, all this cartoon movie, this, this Disney world, there is one they sent to my WhatsApp. Somebody sent it to me because I think the person no youth conference is coming. He said, Mommy, look, I press at the thing. Ah, I started thinking of little children that have watched this one. You will see birds making love with birds. Dog, they, they, they make a garden of animals, different type of animal. In that garden is different style of meeting to each other. And a child of five years, six years will say, what is this? They will start practicing to, to themselves in the house, siblings. So we see them doing like this. Come, let two of us to try. Mommy and daddy is not around. Let's see. Why are they doing like this? You youth. You will close yourself inside the room. Close your door. Busy looking at these things. By the time you finish, you are getting yourself wet. As a girl, you have to run to the bathroom to go and bathe yourself. You boy, you're, you will be relaxed. Planning, thinking how to masturbate. Because of the, the demonic thing you are watching. Satan knows why he's doing this. And why I'm saying this? Because some of you call yourself Christian. You play keyboard in the church. You are part of the choir. You are the usher. Pastor children. You are that leader song. But you are busy watching pornography. And it's in your phone. As soon as you have money, somebody bless you with money. Your mind is not thinking of how to give God. It's how to buy data. So that you go and watch, go to YouTube or Instagram or whatever to start watching that thing. But when they call for offering in the church, you look for 50 naira. But you can buy data of 1,500, 2,000, 5,000 data just to busy watching nonsense. Something that would destroy your soul in hell. As you are watching it, the demons of pornography is by you. It will not leave you. You stand there monitoring you so that you continue. Before you, before you think about it now, one year, two years, 
three years like that. Even when you grow up, you enter, you marry, you start watching it with your wife. You cannot have normal feeling for your wife. You have to watch something to stimulate you, to arouse you, and you are finished. If you don't do something with it here by saying, God, I will not go back with that spirit, my brother, my sister, all your worship, your tithe and offering, your zeal in the house of God, your life, your money cry, your repentance, raising hand. If you don't deal with this spirit, no heaven for you. No heaven for you. These things are evil before God. These things are evil before God. Any one of you that say, I am a child of God, I am a Christian, I'm born again, I've given my life to Jesus. All of you here, eh, you have raising up your hand, they will call altar call, you come out. When you go back, you start doing this thing, you are not born again. Your name has been plotted out of the book of life. Don't even bother to say, I'm a child of God, I've given my life to Jesus, they pray for me. As long as you go back to this one, you are finished. Turn to the book of Psalm 101 verse 3 and see what David said. Today we all of us know that David is in heaven. Some of us we pray God love us like David. But for God to love David, you will see David was disciplined. There are some things David know that this thing, anything that don't please God, I will not do it. Even if David do something and then God send message to him that you have seen, David will weep. David will cry. He will tear his cry. He will mourn. Because you don't want anything that will offend God. But today our youth, what they, they, the preacher will tell you, even when you are here, we are telling you, you will be behind and be eating at us. You will be blowing the phone. I beg it's a lie. You don't have any fear of God. Even when somebody is saying, God say I should say, you don't believe. You have had in your heart. David fear God. Anything that God say, David, this thing is not good. David will not want to do it. Turn to the book of Psalm 101, verse 3. He said, I will not set, I will not, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Anything that will make me to turn aside from the face of God, that make me to, to make the Holy Spirit to depart, anything, if want to ever money pleasure job some of you because of job you will backslide they will tell you do like this you say ah, I, I have to do it i have to do it they will tell you this is your way you are dressing holy holy we don't want you here you have to go and put small makeup you will give up i say okay no problem i will i will put i will i will make up i will put these things you are not serious many of your kind are, are crying here the most painful part for you sitting here is when you have had all these things and then you play with grace. You play with your life and then you find yourself in hell. You will cry more than those that you met there. Because your own, you will say, ah, it was before me like they see heaven and was seeing it. It's only for me to take decision that I am turning away from the world. But because I love the things of the world, I disbelieve. Even when they were telling me I was playing with it. And some of you don't know the time you will die. Some of you don't know the time you will die. One of the things that you should be thinking of, if I go to bed now, will I wake up in the morning? I am going now out. Will I come back? We have seen many people like that. Mommy, I'm coming back. They will just call the mother, rush to the hospital. There is a car accident, motorcycle accident, trailer of climb on top of your child. Careless soul. You are not hearing the warning of what we are telling you. Unprepared soul. You are going to meet your God. What will you tell God? God, I was planning to be a born again. Seriously, I was planning to change. But, but what? You think that God cannot give you a job when you are holy? You think that God cannot give you a husband when you are holy? You think that God cannot make you to travel to abroad even when you are holy? You thought that is, you have to play your own carnality before you have a good job, before you work in that oil company? That is the deception Satan has given to you. Some of you think it's by your power. 
that you can marry, that you can travel. He thinks it's by your smartness I will have money. Some of you, your course you are reading in the school. You decided to be an accountant, not that you love the job, not that you want to be an accountant, because some of you don't even know math. No, no accounting. But you are forcing yourself because from the beginning, you have made up your mind that, let me just finish this call. I will go to the bank. I will steal money because bank have money. That is the mentality of some of you. I was like that. I choose the course of accounting, not that I know a math or neither accounting. But we say this one, we will fall down and get up. All we know is that we will graduate when my, my mind is in the bank. So that we will finish and start changing figures. We, you thought you by your power. You are not giving God the will to control your life. David said, I will set no anything wicked before my eyes. Pornographic pictures and movies are found in romantic books like Mills and Bulls, other romantic books. Some of you know their names. When you are reading these, they will be telling you a story about a man, a farmer, met a girl, the father is rich. You will read chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 4, they get married, they enter room. They will tell you all what they are doing and your imagination. It's like you are seeing them now on the bed. You are polluted. As you are reading that book, lying down, Satan is by your side, massaging you so that you will start feeling as if it is real in your body. Newspapers. Some of you will carry your picture to the newspapers to advertise your birthday, your wedding, nakedness. All this advertisement showing women breasts, they are advertising Maggie. They will show a breast of a woman. What concern breast of a woman with Maggie? They will want to talk about a house, a good house, the advertising house. They will show a woman bending down. What concern the house with the woman bottle? And that is the part you will like. Ah, give me this newspaper. You know why you are buying that newspaper? It's to go and paste it down so that you'll be watching it very well. Pollution. These things is for you to know that Satan is going all he, all the length. Anywhere you know that human being can go that, he will go there to pollute. Now you have gone to the little children for five years. As for America, they are teaching them about sex. He's bringing up things to define. Even if you have power to define the child in your womb, to make the child. And he has do, he's doing it. Some of them, they're born as a witch, wizard from the womb. Are you not afraid? You should know that Satan is wide. A running lion going up and down to look who he will devour. If you don't get you in your university, he will follow you in your cause. He will follow you in that newspaper. Your phone, everybody now wants iPhone, all this kind of phone. It's not for anything because you'll be able to go to YouTube. You don't want other phones, they call it analog. You give a child a phone, he will not be happy because the first thing you press is this phone. Did they have Facebook, WhatsApp? If the phone don't have, he will not even say thank you. It will, the, get, the, the, the person you bought the phone for will not say thank you because he or she and mine is I want Facebook, what's up for what you will find this nakedness in movies, television all these things they call entertainment I'm going to show you in this your DSTV you sit in the house you don't need to go out you say mommy you know me I don't go out I don't have boyfriend I don't have girlfriend I'm a good girl I'm a good boy I don't go out and your parents will be bragging ah as for my daughter my son don't go out they are good children in the television the series they are watching they are disvaging themselves there Satan has finished them they are chronic sinners under the roof because the entertainment, the TV, is full of those things. If you don't want to go out, they will even practice you. You'll be watching it in your room, and you are defied. In the schools, you will see people. As for abroad, it's free. Children will be kissing themselves, rubbing themselves. It's nothing. Teacher, don't have anything to say. Life pornographic. In the university, you know. A boy will be sleeping with a girl, take picture in the morning, gather his friend and say, come and see that girl. 
come and see not be better thing come and see what this girl what we did last night and the other friends they will be seeing the girl naked all this kind of thing some is you when you go out with big men you take their picture how they look like you come and show your friends in the morning when you come back to the campus is that how you are living your life this thing you are doing my sister my brother you are seeing it as his phone you are seeing it as a joke you are laughing with it you like watching them you will say but i'm not doing it i'm just watching them. I'm, not, I'm new am i the ones doing it i'm not doing it i'm just watching them even looking at them you are part of them in the church today their life pornography attitude dressing nakedness going on anything you look at are you lost your thought is how to sleep with this person you are defied that is a pornography you don't need to say it's only a movie even in the church today i will show you some terrible wedding gown pastor will be looking those kind of thing and the pastor will say i'm not lost and that's what you see all over now you are hearing pastor raping a child pastor raping a youth pastor raping a married woman how will the pastor don't rape you people the pastor will be raping you you will sit in front of your all your laps are out you are bleaching you look so fresh so fear you come in front your breast is out the pastor is there the pastor is confused you are making the leaders the workers in the church to get confused the brothers in the church they cannot concentrate on the message because any little thing they will turn and look at you and you think that you want to do guy satan has used you satan is using you to corrupt the church and you must have your part with the devil in hell some of you when you die the lord will tell you that you were working for satan you were agents of that and you say no god i was not a witch i was not a wizard god i've never gone out out of my body to witchcraft cover the lord will say keep quiet all this naked dressing we are doing which is a wizard is it not to defy children of god their work is to turn them from from light to darkness is to give them make them to do not to obey the things of god that was the same thing you two were doing all this your naked dressing don't you know that you were turning some boys that decided to follow me in holiness and righteousness when they see your lap your breast you defile them some even went and masturbate you will say me you will go say look even this pastor it's just that he did not come and tell you you were disturbing him some boys you go and lift iron with your six pack and wear body up in the church the girls are confused you are agent of darkness you are agent of darkness you are the one satan have employed unknown to you you don't know you are working for satan that is the most dangerous part it happened to me i was working for satan I never knew, but I was binding Satan in the church. I never knew my costume, my lifestyle, my behavior, my thought was all about the devil. I was busy doing it, thinking that as long as I'm in the church, I'm not practically in witchcraft, I'm not bowing to Satan, I will not go to hell. I never knew that I was part of the devil and work. When the Lord was telling me all everything about my body, my thoughts, my mind, my lifestyle I live on earth was all worldliness sin you are of the devil first john chapter 2 verse 15 and 16 i've judged you i cried hey so truly those that love the things of the world they are not the, the love of the father is not in them jesus told me that plainly some of you are busy worshiping god zealous the lord is not with you because what you are putting on i've condemned you hearing makeup lipstick all these things short skirts split skirts sit in the church somebody will see your lap your breast is out your armpit is out tight fitting cloth body off you are walking your waist is playing dancing you are coming to give offering how many people you are passing all of them their eyes behind you and you think that you are beautiful you are walking like a serpent you are busy adding to your destruction number one thing i want to show you here this thing that make youth today in nigeria everybody even in other country everybody want to come and join for the money satan makes sure that the money is so big 
that a youth can define him or herself to just to go and, to go and enroll in that society. And you, when you heard that the, the new session of this entertainment has started, you will go and buy data, go and recharge your DSTV or what, so that you watch it from the beginning of the end of the program. This thing I'm talking about, number one, is Big Brother Niger. You know it. It's an entertainment that you think that is nothing. It's just that they are teaching them skill. Please, show me something. Put Big Brother Niger for me. Let me show you. Watch this thing and see the damage. The life they are teaching our children. The life they are teaching our youth. What is happening in that Big Brother Niger? That your mind is only the 40,000 naira, 40, 40 million, whatever, I don't understand. This... The eye of Satan. This is the eye of Satan. Anyone watching Big Brother Niger, you are not born again. You have been defied. You have been defied. Play the girl that say that you don't care. You can do anything for that money. My name is Ruth Babs. Hi, Ruth Babs. Are you here for the audition? Yeah. Wow. That uh, means you really, really want to win this money. Oh, yeah. Do you know how I've been longing for this day to come? Mm. I've been doing campaign, telling my friends to vote for me when I get into Big Brother well, House. You already started your own campaign. Yeah, I've been house. telling my neighbors, everybody, even in church. I'm a worker, even, I have even, to live it. Wait, you're a church worker? Yeah, I'll tell redeem. redeem, yes. And you want to come here and yeah. come to Big Brother? Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you, are you out here that some people say Big Brother has immoral? For a church worker like this? I don't care. I don't care. Okay. All matters in my spiritual life. You can't tell me. If, if I'm serving God, you, you wouldn't know mm. what I have in my heart. Mm. You get so you can't tell me because I'm in Big Brother House, I'm gonna do rubbish. After I'm not a virgin. Mm. So what? You're not, you're not a virgin. I'm not a virgin, yeah. Mm. Mm. So, you so don't mind. I don't mind any nasty thing I would do. Any nasty thing I would do. Any nasty thing I would do. She says she's a walker in redeem. I don't care. Serving God is in the heart. I can do anything for money. In fact, I'm not a virgin. That is what you people do. You call yourself Christian. When you go out, you can do anything for money. Anything. Some of you, your parents thought that you were in a school, university. You are lying there now. When your school, your university is in Lagos or in Abuja or in one state, but your, your family member, your mother is saying, my daughter, she's in the University of Lagos. When they will find you in Suka, you are sleeping with a man there. You are doing wrongs, prostitutes. You can do anything for money. The Bible has told us the root of all evil. Money is the root of all evil. As long as you are busy pushing money, you will jam Satan one day and then go to hell. You hear kidnapping all over that is going. If you don't repent, if you don't repent, you will enter kidnapping motto. You will call Jesus will not hear you. They will go and sacrifice you. Die on earth, die in hell. You are busy playing with your life. Busy playing with your life. I don't believe our true child of God, a true believer, a born again youth, sanctified in Oremo because we have true dedicated youth that have given their life truly in Oremo will dare to stand in that place. I'm telling you because of what we are teaching them. But some of you, your church where you go is more money, you dance, we prophesy, they will kick you as football, you fall and break chair and go home. And you say you have gone to church, you go and buy Panadol. That's why you don't have any fear of God. No fear of God. You can dress anyhow. Any kind of skirt you want to wear, you wear it. Any kind of dressing, no fear to say, ah, if I go out like this, this is too tight. So they don't even need to tell you. You check yourself. Kai, this split is too much. But because the word of God you have been hearing for years, for months, the kind of church you are attending, no fear of God. She's even proud of saying, I'm a redeemed. Some of you go to church because of the wideness, because of the great name, we are the biggest church. There are children that are looking for that small church that have the word to go to heaven. That is why we gather you here for you to change your mentality. Money is not everything. You want to destroy your soul because of money? How much are they even giving them? 40 million. Naira. 
it will finish like breeze. Is it not Satan that is giving him money? Satan have his plan. He just wants you to enter the big brother, begin to show your nakedness, so that you, you start working for him and tell God, say, God, see her, I finish her, see him, I finish it. You start, because, the, because you must do it to get fame and all these things, you should be naked. Begin to show the pictures of what they are doing in that big brother. They call it big brother. It's your big brother, Satan. He's the one ahead of you. He has been there doing all these things. So he's your senior. You can see, this is what they will be doing. This is people in the house. I, 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 I saw this on Facebook. I, I screenshot it. These are the things they teach. These are people that are inside the house. Go back behind. These are things they teach. These are the things they do there. These are the things. You don't know boy, you don't know a boy anywhere, a girl anywhere. You are inside a house, you call glo- a club, you must kiss, you must romance anyhow. These are the things. Show it again. These are the things. They'll finish topping themselves in the house. When they go out, they say we don't want ourselves again. We are just doing it for fun. Fun. See what they are teaching them. See what they are teaching them. This is it. And some of you, if I say raise up your hand that you are busy following Big Brother Niger from the day one, all of you, maybe majority will raise hand. But you will not raise hand. You will come and kneel down and tell God, forgive me for defiling my body, defiling my eyes. Because this, this scripture, Psalm 101 verse 3 will judge you if you don't stop putting wicked things in your eyes. Watching blues, watching wrestling, watching nakedness. The other one again is Nigeria movie. You busy watching Nigeria movie. They will not teach you anything good. It's how to be with your husband, how to put charm, how to place among three boys. If you are if you are a married woman, how to run six, you have boyfriend. You know, all these things they will teach the boys. Because some of you, you learn this behavior from watching on this movie. They will teach you how to play if you have six boyfriend. How you will disguise to this one? How you will deceive this one? When this one come, you will cover. I'm not feeling well. When this one go, you call this one. When it, all this kind of thing, they will teach you how to do ritualist, how to be ritual, how to go and join ritual. You start killing people. This gang in the university start advertising it. The the movie, people start joining club in the school because they are seeing it in the movie. When you go to school, you join gang. You are the boy in the, in the university. You will see, these movies are not teaching you anything godly. They are not making you to fear God. Anything, Jesus said to me, go and tell my children in the world, anything they are watching that is not glorifying me, making them to fear me, making them to know me, making them to, to repent, they should get those things out of their life. It's distraction. The hour you will take to browse, the hour you take to do Amebo, who, who, who have posted first picture on Facebook, the hour you will take to be watching one, one series of movie, the hour you will take to be listening to Big Brother, Niger, who won the contest or whatever thing, is three hour, four hour. When you come to sleep in the night, pray for five minutes, you start sleeping. And you know we serve a jealous God. If you can give Satan three hours on your phone, two hours on your phone, and when you come to read Bible, some of you up to now, you did not finish your assignment. When you come to God, you give God 30 minutes, even 30 minutes, you'll be sleeping. You have to repent. You have to repent today. Because you say, I hate Satan. Satan, leave me hello, I'm married to Jesus. Jesus said, you don't marry to me. Oh. You marry to Satan, you marry to your phone, you marry to, to all these big brother Niger because your time you are spending with them, the person you love is not the person you spend more time with. That is it. If you love Satan, you spend more time with his things. You love them. So these things I'm talking about, pornography in the church. See what is happening. You girls, you will be telling your parents, when they tell you that, don't dress like this in your wedding, they say, ah, mommy, daddy, no. Married that day, wedding is one day. Give me chance to decorate. I want to tell people that I can do it. You go and sew a worldly naked garment. 
only one that is so transparent, your back is open, all your breasts is out, make it so tight that even when you are wearing it, are maybe two or three persons drawing it on you to wear it so that your shape will come out. The Lord is not there in that, in that wedding. Satan will ordain you, will, will, will join you two together. Because you carry his property, you decorate yourself with his property, you are defining the congregation. That's why you see marriage house now today, homes are breaking, divorce, divorce. Because from the beginning, God was not in the marriage. When you go home, you go with Satan. Show me some wedding garments. Start with Pastor Chris' daughter. Christ embassy daughter, start with her. These are the people who come on pulpit and be preaching, but their own children, they can't control them. See how she dress. You will see. Nakedness. The, the cloth is even coming down, like she's removing it, as if you want to remove your cloth. And they will be boasting. And this, you are, you, you are following those people. Jesus don't know them. They only know the name of Jesus. They don't know the way of God. And you'll be saying, if Pastor Chris' daughter dressed like this, if there's nothing wrong. Me too, I would dress like this. You will follow them to hell. Follow, follow. You follow them to hell. You are not a child of God. You are not proud. The body of God, this your body is a temple. Cover it. Dress it well. After we finish using this place, we will close everywhere so that nobody will come and litter. No, naughty animal will not come in. Somebody will not come into the place anyhow because the house of God needs to be kept clean, covered, dressed. But you see, and Benihim is the one uh, joining them. Birds of the same feather. See them. You see wedding gown? It's like night dress. Night gown, want to go and sleep. For your husband to see you alone. Is it not so? This kind of gown, one strap, is when you are sleeping with your husband. Nobody is seeing you. But see, in the whole congregation, see dress, the breast is out. What the husband to see alone? All the, the husband friends, the people have seen, they will even tell her, ah, your, friend, your, your wife's breast is bigger, one is bigger than the other one. Your friends will be telling you how your wife looks like. You don't even know. You have not seen her. But the whole church have seen what you need to cover. That you will cherish her. Your friend will not say, Oh, my guy, you don't, you don't choose well. You don't know that girl is not... You don't check the breast well. Play the other one. This is disgraceful, shameful. And church, you call yourself a, a church, will be ordaining this kind of thing. You are walking, you say you are walking before the, let all of us stand up. If I go to a church like this, I will not stand up. Let's stand up and welcome the bride. Uh, to the, uh, who's bride? Is this a bride? You can see. This is a celebrity wife. You can see her own bridal dress. The back is open tight. You can see. Be showing the other ones. You can see. You can see. These are the people. They are celebrities. They are rich people. They are wayward people. And you, you are coming up. You have not even done. See. You can see. She's a bride. Let's go to the next one. These are the things. You are saying, hey. You can see, these are bridesmaids. These are bridesmaids. And pastor, we allow them to be in the church. They are saying, they will be inviting people. Come and see, we have wedding tomorrow. When everybody is naked in the church, any one of you that you have given your life here, and go back in the days of your wedding, the Lord will test you. The Lord will see if truly you have repented. Your name now is in the book of life. Satan will say, God, I will take that name from that book. Give me four years. Give me two years. Give me one year. Is it not this girl? I will take that name from the book of life. Now you are going with fire. Revival. Some of you will even tell your friends, I'm not that person again, please. The devil will say, don't worry. Now she's hot. Don't worry. We'll get her. When the time reach for marriage, a rich man will come. The man will tell you. The boy will tell you. No, you have to do, you know. And you start compromising. Go and wear all this naked dressing. 
and call bride, uh, bride address. These are the sinful things you are watching. The one I'm talking again, you will see what this, you know, we have this pornography in music. Music. Satan know that children of God don't go and buy all this uh, Celine Dion, all this Beyonce. Children of God don't buy it. Christians don't listen to those things in their house. Born again Christian, God fearing Christian. Although some Christians listen to it, they will download it in your phone. You boys, you have them on your phone. All these are Kelly, you have them on your phone. And you say you are a child of God. You are busy listening to Beyonce, Rihanna. I know them because I was watching them. That's why I'm calling their name. To tell you that, me too, I was like that. You are busy watching them. And up to now they are in your phone. And you are busy deceiving yourself. If you have given your life to Christ today, this night, delete all those things and let your phone be clean. Download daddy messages. Download holy messages. Download messages that when you listen to it anytime, you will be refreshed. You, the fear of God will continue to be there. You will see one year will pass, you will not sin. You will say, eh? So somebody can be righteous like this. Yes. Your pastor is telling nobody can be righteous. That any pastor that said nobody can be righteous, check that pastor. He's not clean. Hallelujah. That pastor is not clean because his hand is dirty. That's why he's telling you that everybody's hand is dirty. Pastor two hand is dirty. That's why God has started to expose them. That is one of my prayers. I say, God, all this bad name they are giving the church. We that are true children of God going around to preach. We went to Uganda. Daddy was preaching. Uganda people are coming. As soon as the person they asked, this pastor is from where? Nigeria. Eh? They carry their bag. Ah, what happened? He said, before you think now, we'll start giving our money. We don't know ourselves. This is how Nigerian pastors are. You see how they have dirty the name of Nigerians. This pastor. I said, God, you raise all the more up to correct the church, not only in Nigeria, but anywhere we go. As soon as they hear well, uh, uh, Nigeria, they fear. It's only when God will move. So people say, ah, are you sure you are from that? You people are different. God will favor us. That's what I'm telling you. We have been praying. God exposed them. God is, this you will see more. Pastors you will not expect. They will be telling their church member will come and confess. Hallelujah. Now, when I say pornography in the church, some of you, you go to church, the way the ushers, the way the choir, they are singing, the way they are dancing, shaking their buttocks. You boys, you are looking at them. You girls, you are shaking it. The pastor is standing behind you. It is life blues in the church. Life. And you will be busy looking at them, buying their CDs. Some of this, this uh, uh, gospel movie, gospel songs. You say, ah, this is a Christian song. Go and play it and see how they are dancing, traditional dance, flipping up their bottles, flipping up their they wear short care. They say that they, they are doing traditional dance. And you begin, you busy you say, ah, it's a Christian song and it's a Christian song. But you know as you are watching it, all those short, short skirts, makeup on their face, braces out, all this, they are whining, they are whining their body like snakes. Say they are singing. Some of them are luminatic singers. They are only calling God, Jesus, to deceive you. They are not giving to God. That song is not glorifying God. One of the church in Abuja here, when, the, when this our brother that is here, say, Mommy, come and see. Come and see. When he played this movie for me, I asked, I said, what is this? Because I wanted to rebuke you. Why are you watching this kind of drama? He said, Mommy, no. He said, church choir. Which church choir? Let him play it for you. They are rapping. Holy Ghost, you are this. You are rapping. They will rap you here. There is no rapping in, 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 in Holy Ghost. We don't rap. Holy songs, hymns is what the angel know. It's what God know. You busy writing and rapping. It's Satan that will rap you. They will rap you here. Play it and see. Some of you have it in your phone. And you will be hailing them. You say, oh, they're not practical sinners. 
showing the youth how to be more wayward. That church is not a church, it's a nightclub. I've said it before. Play it, they call it Koza. My goons back with a general. My goons back, your shoes black, too bad. You married federal. They don't get it. Money, get it. We're the press of a thing. Whatever you got, just get it. Are you seeing the way they are doing their hands? When you look at it for the first time, you thought that it's Beyonce and Jay Z. Unless you hear Holy Ghost, this, that, rap, it, you say, ah, Holy Ghost, what is this? These are not choir. God don't know them. That kind of church, the Holy Ghost is not there. They only know the name of Jesus. They know the scripture. They don't know God. God don't know them. And you that you are busy wasting your time going to those churches because of what they are doing there, the free dance, the wayward dressing, they tolerate any kind of lifestyle. You say, I'm a member of this church. You know why you are going there because the pastor don't have any you dress, dress as you call. Anyhow you want, any, anything you want to do, you do. It's fashion parade you people are doing there. Everybody is showing their nakedness. And you say you are a member in those church. You are a youth, serious, paying time. You are boasting, say, I'm a youth in this church. We are part of the choir. The Lord don't know you people. The Lord is not with you people. And very soon, the Lord is going to push you people into hellfire. All those congregations that forget God. No fear of God. No fear of God. A choir wearing tear trousers. Tear. We used to call it in Sierra Leone bronze. I don't know how they call it here. Tear it like this. Tear it behind. How did they say it? Crazy jeans. So you are crazy. You are going to... Crazy people don't go to heaven. No. It's people that are correct. It's Satan that is crazy. We don't... Our God is a God of wisdom. A decent God. How can a child of God wear something they call crazy? You must repent before going back. Remove those trousers. Burn them. They are not children of God material. Don't buy them. Why are you wasting money on them? Some of you, you buy your parents buy you good clothes. You carry it to the tailor. Tear it for me. May the Lord forgive you in Jesus' name. All these things in the club. You will find pornography in the club. Some of you go to night club. You will see naked girls, naked boys. Some dance on the club. You go to beach. Beaches, you see people swimming in the water, some of these things, nakedness all over, parties. You go to how different parties, you see nakedness all over. You go to the streets, sometimes in the streets, you see girls walking up and now they are naked. They are still showing it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? What is he saying? It's okay, put it up. This is it. You are in that church, they are dancing like this, doing like this. You are there, you will be lost in that boy. Oh, that boy knows how to dance more than that one. You are lost in that girl. You are just polluted. Satan is all over the church. This kind of choir is not a choir for heaven. It's counterfeit. Hallelujah. Anything rapping, doing like this, dressing, open chest, sleeveless, with on on their head, lipstick. Those people don't know God. Their song is not passing up this roof. Hallelujah. Another thing again that you people don't know you are doing life pornography, life blues, is the way you dress in your homes. Some of you, 
That's why you see uncle will be raping a daughter. A, a brother will be sleeping with her sister. It's because of the naked dressing, careless, slack dressing. You people who used to dress in the house, before your parents, you will hear that the father has slept with the daughter. Because of this naked dressing, you don't believe that I'm in the house. You go and wear this light stretch cloth. When you are walking, that's your slack body, slack buttocks. You busy walking, you'll be bending down. Daddy, uncle, welcome. Your breast is out. You are living with people in your home. You are living with your cousins. You are living with your brothers, your siblings. You are living with people in the house, your uncles, your relations. You are being with them in the house. Every day you are making these people their mind to be polluted. Some will not have the heart to rape you, to sleep with you, but you are polluting them. Anytime they see like it, they go and look for, for prostitutes. Sometimes it's your cousin, a male cousin. You are playing with them in the house. You are dancing. Or you are just walking in the kitchen. Slack cloth on your body. Your breast is out. When you have looked at you, you don't know what to do. He will go out and look for a prostitute. Because you have aroused him. Or you the boys in the house. Wearing short, all these short trousers. With big chests. And some of you are very fair. Your sisters are looking at you. Your cousins in the house are looking the way you dress. They will not tell you that I'm lost over my brother or over my cousin. But in their hearts, they will be wishing that God give me a, a boyfriend that look like my brother. My brother is very handsome. They are lost in after you. Because you don't dress well in the house. You don't dress well in the house. Life pornography in the house. Blues. When you go, you change those things. Because when you die, the Lord will tell you how many people you have defied with your dressing. Your father and mother will call you, come and greet people. You came out with slack cloth. Your breast is out. They will see your panty mark, short skirt. You come and bend down and be greeting people. You are disgracing yourself. And as you are polluting people like this, unknown to you, you don't know the number is increasing. Some of you have polluted maybe 100 boys, men in the school, lecturers. They are, de they are defied by your dressing. Some cannot come to you. Some cannot force you to, 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 to sleep with you. But anytime you enter the classroom, naked dressing, there are boys that are lost in after you. They are lecturers. And as you are causing them to sin, the Bible has told us that woe unto those ones that will make their brother to stumble. You are busy making people to stumble by your naked dressing. The Lord is saying, I don't want this dressing on your body. What is the stubbornness you are doing to God? God knows the after effect of this dressing. He's telling you, my daughter, change. The Lord is telling the young boys, remove those ragamuffin dressing. You are not hearing. The consequence of those dressing is more painful. You will suffer in here. Some of you will cry. Is it because of this naked dress? Is it because of this trouser? The Lord will say, do you know how many people you have defied? Some, they were born again. But because constantly in the school, all of you were together in university. Every time you come for class, this boy, this boy is looking at you. You have defied him. You are the cause for him to backslide. The Lord will punish you if you don't repent. You people are stubborn. Youths nowadays. Even when somebody will say, Jesus said this, they will say, they don't believe. Yari is a seed, they say, I will not take it off. Wevan is a seed, say, I will not. That's why the time is coming. The Lord too with death is years. He will not hear you for millions of years forever. You will be born in hell. He will not hear you. Cry from now till thy kingdom come. Fire all over your body. You will regret why you harden your heart towards the truth hallelujah so be careful what you wear in your house in the street in the neighborhood because life pornographic is happening in the street in the neighborhood you have some terrible dressings you go to the, to, to outside country you see girls walking naked boys naked like that and you you as a child of god you have to be praying Close the eyes, turn like this. Sometimes you even do what you want to do in the town quick to go back home because the place is polluted. You turn like this pollution, turn like this pollution. You have to go and pray, Father, help me. Why are you people doing this? Is the youth are the one dressing this bad dressing? You will not see this in the youth in, among the Muslims. You will not see this. Even in your school, you know the Muslims they do their hijab. Their parents are not there. 
they know that God, their God, Allah is watching them. They fear Allah. You, you don't fear Jesus. You don't fear Yahweh. You only fear your parents. When you are coming or you pack all the holy dressing. Even the Muslims, they cover. Under the hot burning sun, they jab. Because they have told them that God don't want to see your nakedness. This is not good. Allah will destroy you. And you that have the living God, the Savior, the one that says yes, no man can say no, the owner of the whole world, he says all souls are mine. You are not afraid of him. He will judge you if you don't repent. Some even can go to the extent of organizing a man and a woman and, and watch the evil act going on. Some of you, you organize people. How to do, you make party, call boys and girls. They will be doing it. You are laughing. And you are watching it. You call girls in your house, say, let's come and party. And you people are dancing, all kind of things. And as you are watching it, it will cause you to masturbate. You will be fingering yourself, polluting your mind, and defy the whole body. Your spirit, soul, and body will be defied. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to yourself? Avoid pornographic movies. Avoid those things. Hallelujah. Avoid those things. Don't do it in the school. Some husband and wife think watching pornography films will help them in, in their love making. It started in their young age. Some of you, if you don't pray and get this thing out of your life, this is how when you got married, you will continue like this. You will continue like this. You have to pray against it. Hallelujah. Pray against it seriously. Pray against it. This kind of wicked, seductive life, practical pornography, Satan is using you to pollute the church. The men cannot concentrate, as I say. You are confusing everywhere. You have to get rid of this dressing. Satan designed it purposely to cause stumbling in the house of God, to make children of God to sin in the area, in their house, anywhere in the school. Men should be polluted. Satan is the one bringing these designs. And he will use his children to advertise it. All those celebrities. Some of you, you live your life by celebrities. Any new style of Beyonce, you go and sew it. Any new style of all these Nigeria actress, you go and do it. All the tattoos. Oh, I like the way this, this actress do a tattoo. You two, you are going to do it the same style. You follow, like, you don't pattern Jesus. You don't look the way godly children in the Bible pattern their life. You are busy following all these celebrities. That will not give you heaven, but all of you will end in hell. What you should know about pornography. It is the way of sinners which you should never learn. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 1 to 3. It is the way of sinners. It is the way of sinners. And you know sinners cannot go to heaven. Jeremiah chapter, three, chapter 10 from verse 1 to 3. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thou said the Lord, learn not the way of the hidden, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the hidden are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are vain. For one cut a tree out of the forest, the work of the hand of the workman with the axe. Don't copy the style of the hidden. Those ones that don't know God. They are vain. Their work, their customs, their tradition is vain. The Lord was warning the Israelites. The Lord is warning you today. Children of God, you that say you are children of God, you are Christian. Don't follow the life of those that don't know your God. This dressing, this attachment, this makeup, this, this sinful life is for Satan and his children. You are not in the world. Hallelujah. Number two, he say, it is the work of the flesh which leads to damnation, which is hellfire. If you continue watching pornography, the way it will take you to, the spirit will leave you because you will not get control over yourself. You will not get control over yourself. If you don't watch it for a day, your body will disturb. As soon as you wake up in the morning, the first thing you want to know, have they uploaded all that thing? In the night again, you will go and see that people are sleeping. You are busy on there watching these things, watching these things. 
you are not using the facebook the whatsapp to do any godly thing i used to see some youths in orimo here in facebook for them to be posting godly things to change sinners that they are really they'll be busy posting politics busy posting thing that is not glorifying god i say look at these people and they will be busy saying they are children of god you are not advertising your father business you are busy advertising sinners in the morning you don't advertise devotional you don't advertise thing that somebody can read and save so you, you are you are looking low upon this thing this word this word you are posting their life their spirit somebody will read it and give his life to christ you don't do it you are busy sending things that is not glorifying god sending naked picture sending love message to the facebook to to your friends posting things like worldly music more worldly these things gossip gossip matter did you know what happened yesterday early in the morning you start gossiping you don't use your internet well it is the work of the flesh romans chapter 8 verse 5 let's read it you have to get rid of these things get rid of these things for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnal, verse 6, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You that love the things of God, you will always want to hear the things of God. You will always go to the Facebook, you will always buy CDs and listen. But you that love the carnality things, the worldly things, that's why your phone, if they open your phone and you call yourself a holy youth, I'm a born again Christian, you will not hear any one message of that dedica there. Your, your phone is full of worldly things, idle things, comedies, things that is not glorifying God. You will not see any holy message that you can be listening to or even share to people. You are deceiving yourself. You are not deceiving us. You dress well with all you are a Christian. You are deceiving yourself. Because the one that sees in the secret is seeing you. You are not serious. You are not a born again Christian. You must repent. Because that spirit that is carrying you is of the devil. Hallelujah. You must stop this kind of attitude. Number three. It is masterminded by Satan and his evil spirit. And can lead to demonic possession and satanic captivities these things that you are busy watching pornography like this it will lead to, to to demonic possession they will possess you they will capture you satan will capture you you heard what that brother was saying i pray go to this church go to this church nothing was happening to me nothing because to tell you that these things have spirit satan is behind this thing as you are watching it the devil is there so today you are going to repent and get out of those life. You will cry to God because you, you don't know how many people your bad dressing have sent to hell. How many people you have made their name to be plotted out of the book of life. How many people, how many pastors, how many leaders in the church you have defied their mind. If because of you, if the Lord will visit you now and show you the things that you have done with your dressing, with your lifestyle, you will weep, you will cry. Some people are in hell. Your neighbors, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you have sent them to hell. They have died before you. Now they are crying with your name in hell. You are wicked. You are wicked. And the Lord is telling you still, you still, you are hiding your heart. You still have your earring. You still put on attachment. You still carry the property of Satan on your body. And you'll be saying, as you had that redeemed girl saying, I don't care, I don't care. It's only the heart. If she have the fear of God in her heart, will she go to that kind of place? Will she go to Big Brother? If she have the fear of God in her heart, as she say, is the heart, is the heart. They deceive themselves by saying, God look at the heart. God look at the heart. Have you stopped lying? Anger. Evil thought. That one belongs to God. You through prayer, God will take them away. You don't have power. But the physical one that you can remove, you must remove it. Then God will know that you are serious for him to descend and, and command those demons of lying, anger, masturbation, fornication, all these evil thoughts out of your life. But you are busy deceiving yourself. The devil said, oh my, it's the heart, it's the heart. You will die like this and go to hell. Number two, what is evil dressing? 
is putting on any manner of cloth that does not give glory God glory in your life that does not give God glory in your life any dressing that does not give God glory in your life stay away from those dressing even if you you bought them costly get rid of them throw them away your soul is pressured at those clothes. How much is the cloth? Is it 100,000? Some are 200,000, we know. But get them out. Any cloth that is bringing sin around you, that is making sin to follow you, making men to pursue you, making women to lust after you, get rid of those dressing. Any dressing that makes you resemble sinner, sinners in the world, any dressing that makes you look as if you are, you are a child of the devil. There is no difference between you and the prostitute. You go to a prostitute and say, Sister, I want to preach the gospel to you. The prostitute puts eyelash. You too put eyelash. The prostitute put lipstick. You too put lipstick. The prostitute wear all these crazy trousers. You too wear crazy trousers. The prostitute put wevon. You too put wevon. The prostitute have false names. You too have false names. The prostitute is bleaching. You too are bleaching. Tell me who is delivering who. There is no difference. No different. There must be different between the child of God and the child of the devil. The child of the world. When somebody sees you, you know that this one is not part of the world. Your neighbor will tell you that, no, this one, mm. Even bad boys sitting in the air, they will tell you that this one is not a bad girl. You don't even see the way, are you not seeing the way she dressed? The way she behaves, the way she comports herself. She's not lousy. She's very friendly. She's very, she's not even, she's very good. She's a good girl. She dressed very well. You are full of respect. People will respect you. But when you are passing, those boys, they'll be doing their mouth, doing, calling you all kind of name. And you'll be angry. Am I your rank? Why are you calling me? Ah, they're not calling you. You are selling what they want. You boys, you are walking. Any traditional dressing that disrespect God, that is not pleasing God. All of you, you say this is our tradition. You want to go and wed in your tradition. But the tradition is saying you should put beads. You should mark your body. You should wear only the tie a wrapper on your breast. Your stomach will be outside. Short skirt. You should come and wind your bottle before the leader. Wedding, stop. I'm not doing it. Do the way God please. Dress very well for your tradition traditional wedding don't follow any tradition that will tell you you have to buy wine to please the gods who is gods you have only one god and his name is yahweh his name is god his name is jesus so if they say to plead the gods there is many gods you don't have many gods. you have only one god hallelujah don't do those kind of things any dressing that makes you steer immoral thoughts or lust in the heart of opposite sex avoid it they don't need to tell you. Yes, begin to display the pictures very fast. They don't need to tell you. All those body orgs. Some of you, you are born again Christian. We are seeing some of you. We know you, but on Facebook, I see the way you post some picture. Body org. Your shape is showing. You don't put anything, but the way your, the body org. I say, no, this one is not good. Don't wear anything that will show your figure. Be displaying the pictures, please. Don't wear anything that will show your figure, your, your, your shape. That will, as you are walking, everybody will see the way your tummy is flat, your shape is so tight. Even you, you know to climb a, 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 a machine. You have to draw it all first. And you say you are a born again sister. Why are you making your clothes so tight? If you have grown for that cloth, why can't you go and open it or dash it to somebody that is slimmer than you? But you know your purpose of wearing it because you want to see all this kind shapey cloth sleeveless cloth you can see body of no earring no attachment she's a born again as she said but see the kind of cloth she will not know that this kind of cloth is done for born again christian this body of why are you wearing it keep showing please why are you wearing it why are you wearing it a pastor call herself a pastor can you see can you see this kind of dressing she says she's preaching she's preaching preaching to who how many men have been lost in after her now? You boys, you lost after your mama in the church. Because of what they are wearing, can you see? All these tight-fitting clothes. You girls, go and get rid of those things. You have given your life to Jesus, don't wear them again. All those sleeveless, your blouse is here. 
Go and find another material to join to it to pass your elbow. That is our short sleeve. Let it pass the elbow and come down. So when you raise your hand, nobody can see your armpits. That is a standard dressing. Why will you raise up your hand? They will see your armpits. They will see your bra. Why are you doing that? You wear transparent blouse, polo. As you are wearing it, they will see your bra, your breast inside. Don't dress like that. You are not complete yet. If you are a child of God, you say you are born again. I want to tell you, if you are dressing like that, you are not complete yet. You are still in the halfway. And those half Christian, half born again, those ones that are doing little, little, you will not go to heaven. It's complete Christian that go to heaven. Let me play in the thing, please. Any dressing that is direct disobedience to the word of God, get rid of them. Anything you hear that they have told you these things is not good, this dress is not good, wearing skirts that have split is not good, take away those things. Any skirt that you wore that, that is looking, is having transparent too much, even in, in the inner you wear, people are seeing it. All the, go back to that one, go back to the one, short skirt. All these skirts you wear, that when you sit, they will be seeing your knee. You see? You'll be saying, but it's a skirt. This is not a skirt. This is almost a naked skirt. A child of God don't sit. You sit like this, and your lap is showing you know that you are a sinner. Any skirt you are wearing, you should go down. That when you sit down, somebody should not even see your calf. Cover your nakedness. But some of you, these are the skates you wear. And you'll be saying that, I'm a holy child of God. I'm a holiness if I'm moving. I'm in deeper life. I'm in this. I'm a born again Christian. This kind of skirt is a, is a backsliding born again Christian. You have started going to the world. And beware of returning back to the world. This kind of skirt, you have it in your house, in your school. Get rid of them. It is not pleasing God. If rapture take place you are in the school wearing this kind of skirt even you are washing outside you are sitting casual you will not go that skirt is defined it's defilement get rid of them go and give your younger sister that if she wear it you can go down on her let's go to the next one any dressing that is being preached against by righteous and holy church obey ah they have said it you see all these sleeveless gowns. Some of you, this day you dress, go to church. You say, ah, the soul should not wear church. That is a gown. But the gown is sleeveless. It's tight fitting. You see, it's very short. It did not go down. It's just standing on the knee. These are all seductive dressing. Satan is smart. And you think you are smart. He said, hey, they say we should wear a gown. You went and showed this gown gown that is not going down. He's just standing on the knee. When you see that, they will be seen. When you are walking, see your sleeveless hand. Why are you sewing clothes like this? And some of you, you are the one telling the tailor, don't make it too, too big, I beg. Please don't. It's not because I'm a holy child, you should come and make it too big. Please make it fitting, fitting. Satan is laughing at you. Say, see, deceiver, she's still in the wall. Fitting, I don't know the people that are doing fitting. It's worldly people doing fitting to my shape. Your mind is still polluted because of the worldly things, you still desire them. You are only following God. You are afraid, I don't want to go to hell. But truly, you are not convinced. You have not made up your mind to hate this world. And those that have not made up their mind to hate anything in this world, I'll take them to hell. You cannot deceive God. You will not go there. It's only perfect people that have hated the things of the world that will go to heaven. But you that you are still, you want here, you want here, you are dazzling between, in and out. You are not going anywhere. This is how you, you are neither hot or cold. The Lord is going to spew out. Change your dressing. Every year we are singing it, but some of you are still hiding in your heart. I used to see some youth bleaching. I shake and I laugh. You are doing yourself. You think you are doing the coordinator, Pastor Rika, Sister Lida, or anybody, or your parents. Your parents are talking, you are taking them to be a fool. When you hear them coming, you go and change style rapper. When they are not in the house, you sit down, be watching pornography, watching nonsense movie. You are busy dressing anyhow. When you hear the horn of your father or your mother or your pastor or whatever, you went and you are doing yourself. You are not doing anybody. When you die, only you will go and beat God. Your father will not go with you. He will not even see your soul when he's going. We only see your body and then we plan to bury it. Next. All this body hug, mini skirt, blouse, trousers for girls, stay off from these things. You see all this short gown. You say, hey, it's a gown. See the gown. Are you seeing the gown? Are you seeing the gown? These are short gown. These are not standard holiness dressing. 
the gown should go down. Yes, next. All these tight trousers for boys. You that you are still putting wool on your head. And you are saying wool is not a sin. Because in Dipara we put wool. In Watchman we put wool. In, in this church we put wool. This pastor has been a holiness pastor for long boys. He's allowing wool. Wool is a sin. Wool is a sin. M- write it down today. If you continue putting wool, you will be disappointed that God will tell you, depart from me. Wool is attachment. Why are you loving wool? Why are you hating old thread? Because you don't have any glory. When you put old thread, nobody admires it. That's why you people don't want old thread. Even when they tell you that old thread, there is nothing wrong about it. You say, no, it's hard to use. It's hard to use. Let me use shiny thread. It's because you are still in the wall. You like bling, bling, shine, shine. Anywhere you go, people should notice you. Bright and grammar. Anywhere you go, you should be shiny. People should see you want rubber thread. You want wool, color wool on your head. You are black and you are putting gold. Wool is a sin. Avoid those shiny threads. Avoid those worldly things on your head. Avoid it. It's very hard. It's costly. You have to pay to go to heaven. It's only those that are determined will make this heaven. Many are called, few are choosing. You are sitting here. Many are called, few are choosing. So try to be among the few, the determined ones that have, I'm, I've made up my mind. I'm crucifying anything. I don't care what people say, but I don't mind. I will forfeit everything, but heaven, I will make it. May the Lord give you that zeal in Jesus' name. As I talk about jeweling, hearing, chain, beads, all these things you are putting on rings, you are putting bead on your waist, you have bead on your leg, your hand, you have chain, hearing, these are sinful property of Satan. Get them out of your body. God have said before our forefathers, he said to them, these things are idol. Get them out of your body. They are strange God. And when the Lord Jesus visited me, he told me that come and tell my children in the world that what I said before, I still stand on it now. I will stand on it forever. What I hated before, I still hate it now. I will hate it forever because I'm still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I am not a partial God. What I command your forefather that they should not put on is not your generation will come and compromise. All of you must follow the way I say it. So you that you are still putting strange God on your body and you say, it doesn't matter. You will go and see that it matters a lot. Because your mind is polluted that without hearing, you are not beautiful. Without powder, I'm not beautiful. Without makeup, how will I remove eyelash? How will I remove hearing? When I used to put this hearing, it used to make my face very nice. If I remove with one, now my head will be looking small. I don't know. Satan will be telling you all this. It is a lie naturally like this you are beautiful you are beautiful so there is no excuse hallelujah take away all those false nails all those bleaching cream perfume you are busy saying you are smelly who told you you are smelling bet very well some of us as you see us that the way you all go we don't smell we use alum we bet very well we don't smell why you say you are smelly you are saying the thing that God created is smelling. All the animal God created, man is superior. Is it you that God make out of his likeness? You say you are smelling. That simply means you are saying God is smelling. God forbid. Stop thinking like that. Bet very well. Clean yourself. If you are over smelly or whatever with all this thing, seek medical attention. Because some is from your bat that you, you got this odor. They were able to cure it for you. But don't go and be using perfume, using all these things. If you go to Abalis, some of you used to go to Abalis. Those days we used to go to Abalis, it's perfume that we give us for, to charm some people. Charm, you want this man, charm, as soon as you pass, the man smell the perfume, will follow you. To tell you that perfume is from the devil, Satan walk with it. So avoid those things. Hallelujah. Bad dressing and evil lifestyle. All this homosexuality. Now, what is happening in Nigeria? I'm surprised. Somebody showed me something. I went to the net. I now said, let me get the story very well. In Africa of all, Nigeria is celebrating hailing a homosexual. Saying they are, they are hailing him. Giving him thumb up. Voting for him. 
And as you continue like this, this person will not think that he has sinned against God. You need to repent. Other little children that are coming up, as Nigeria is hard now, no money. The youth are looking for where they will get quick money. They will say, ah, can you see this person, No, he turned to a woman from, from male to female. And Nigeria, we are hailing him. He's working with security. People are hailing him. Me too, I'm going to turn myself from male to female. Some female will say, from female to what? And that person is Bob Risky. You know it. You people are hailing him in sin. In sin. For you to tell this person you are sinning, you are hailing him. You are sending good message for him on Facebook. But when they put our message on Facebook, you are the people that will be insulting us. We speak about Jesus, they hate us. Somebody that is coming to promote sin in the world. Evil, abomination that God hates. A man say, I'm a woman. And you are saying you, are, you like him. You like him. Because I will not call her her, it's not her for me. All of you that have been hailing her, hailing him, you sending message to him, hailing him and be proud of him, you are going to hell. Supporting satanic candidates. You are supporting him. And he's boasting, I have, I have 3,000, 3 million likes. All these people liking him for what he's doing. Because it's when you are promoting him, that's why he's continuing sin. This is what is happening now. The spirit of transgender is all over. Not only in Nigeria, you will see it in abroad. Put, some, put, a, 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 put the transgender boy, a female. She said that she don't want the body she made of. She know that she's supposed to be a man. Why did God make her to be a female that she don't want? And there's a medicine that you will take for one week, two weeks. If you have a female voice, your voice will start turning to a male voice. You will now see. They will do oppression on you, and then you will change to be a man or a female. Put this one, let us see. You will see how Satan, see, she's a female. She says she don't like the way she's looking now. And this transgender, they are advertising it. People are going different countries, advertising, leave the children. You, they will ask a small child, do you want to be a girl? A boy, they will ask, do you want to be a girl? They say yes. They will train the child, do oppression on, the, on that, that male boy and turn him to a girl. They are advertising it, going around, allowing them. You see this one. The family say no problem because the government say give them their freedom. Now, see the next thing. She, he, she went and did the operation. They removed the breast first. Point, show the next one. This is the operation. They have removed the breast. Because when you have breasts like this, you are a woman. She says she don't want to be a female anymore. She wants to be a male. They removed the breast. Put the next one out that he has looked completely as a man. There's a drug that will dry the breast that make him to start having hair. You see how he has looked now like a boy? She is a female, but she changed herself to male. They will do the oppression on his private part and turn him to a female. Some, they will turn them to male. And why we are saying this to you? Because what is, is, is throwing in abroad will be splitting in Africa. If you people are hailing really Bob Risky, very soon you will see many youths too. Homosexuality. Everybody, homo, your family will start having transgender. You should, you should not even try it. This is to tell you that we are more than Sodom and Gomorrah. Jesus is coming at any time. This is a highest disobedience to God. This is wickedness. And you are planning to do it. Like in there, you are sinning. You should get ready that Jesus is coming very soon. All this lesbianism. Kissing girls to girls. Some of you have done it before. You have to tell the Lord, the spirit of lesbian is following you. The spirit of lesbianism is following you. Sometimes you don't do it again, but you touch yourself. You don't have girls to do it together because you are not in the school. You see this one. It's a man. He said, want to be a woman. There is a drug. They will give them the breast will start growing like a woman. You see how the breast is growing now. There is a drug that will give them. This is a male, but he said, want to be a female. You can see. Let's move. All these things I'm telling you, you have to get rid of them from your mind. 
Don't even think of them. This is the Bob Risky. He's a man, but see, her not, see him not like a woman. Bleach. Take the drugs. Remove, break the breast. Turn herself. And big men. He's, he's even boasting that he has big men that, that are following him. You can see. It's because they are having money in it. That's why others are joining them. But any one of you that know Jesus and decided to go and turn yourself to a more homosexual or lesbian you will regret the day you were created you were born come out of those things hallelujah all this you can see this is a campaign of homosexuality they are going around campaigning in different states in america allow them allow them love is not by gender love marriage is by love anybody you see marriage is about love not gender that simply means it's not it's not composite to say it's only to be a woman and a man you can be female and female you can be male and male all matter is that we love ourselves we should get right to get married you can see the campaign going on you can see the campaign they are getting ready for Satan. And God will come and take us home. Anger. You have anger, gossip. Be playing those things, please. Display all those worldly naked pictures. All these luminatic. You can see them. This is drinking alcohol. Little children, see them. This is how some of you are drinking alcohol. All the day time. You go to the village. You go home. Your parents, you, your parents see. Is that how you want to live your life? He you have drink and getting drunk falling down in the road see this is a university is it matriculation or what but how can a child of god go and join a, a a faculty like this and say in art we should do this as a matriculation or whatever this is this is demonized this is not good don't join those kind of things don't put in palm tree in your mouth and tie white cloth rubbing your, this is how they do ritually start ritually start like this the next thing you see yourself going more deep all those bands in your hand church ban that they will ride there you will not die are you busy when there is accident you raise up your hand will not die because of ban you will, satan will not flung you out of the window you will die that ban will not protect you it's jesus that will protect you if you have all those church ban in your hand they are idolized remove them you have jesus you don't need to put ban in your hand. it's all part of fashion remove those things hallelujah all those sniper many youth are killing themselves today with sniper they will say because of a girl you are not serious you don't have fear of god the churches you are going they are not telling you the danger of of heaven the danger of hell our youth that are here they know that if you die a sinner the terrible sin you are going to meet there so they will not even dare to take their life but it's because some of you in the church you go they just believe they just teach you you shall prosper you shall prosper you don't hear about hell so you thought that uh, as you die you will be sleeping you will not sleep you are going to hell you will be born in you will be born inside the fire all those ones that have killed themselves with sniper because of boyfriend because of girlfriend my parents they are regretting which which kind of madness that entered their head committing suicide are you the one that created yourself you will regret if you are planning to commit suicide because of a boy that's why we are telling you this sinful thing is satan you are keeping boyfriend for fornication why are you doing this if you don't have boyfriend will you think of killing yourself come out among them stop boyfriend business satan is inside boyfriend and girlfriend business stop those evil things all these evil thoughts fighting occultism ritual social club when you go back school is opening in september when you go back tell your friend i'm not part of this social club again he's not teaching us anything but making us to be so wild rude we'll go and be robbing people raping people make me to be senseless i want to follow jesus now find a club that we serve that serve jesus join the the the, the, the campus fellowship follow children of god why are you joining gang all this and robbing all this killing in nigeria if the youth make up their mind that we are not going to be used anymore by satan you will never hear kidnapping again you will never hear ritualists again cutting somebody head for money they say if i bring five head it's five million what is five million you are killing somebody what is ten million you kill somebody the lord will send you to hell you will go and burn there if you have done all these wicked things you have to stop it hallelujah you have to stop it stop it prostitution some of you are prostitute but your parents don't know 
you go in the night come in the morning in the school big jeep will come and park and you people will go all this kind of thing disobedient to play let them play only one clip and see how a child is slapping the mother if you are a child if you are here yeah, you have been used to beat your mother your father or you have done it before you must come out and say god show me mercy i did it a year ago i slapped my mother i slapped my brother i my elder brother if you have been doing like that even up to now some of you have terrible anger your parents fear you you quickly slap them you quickly do any kind of thing you must repay you course is following you play that movie and see a small child and the mother cannot beat him back because he is she's afraid for them not to deport him deport her in a broad, they don't beat a child. You can see. See. See what? Play it again. He's telling the mother to shut up. And he slapped the mother. Play the movie again. The mother wants to talk. He said, I said, shut up. I said, shut up, mommy. Pa, pa, like that. Mommy! Stop, stop, stop. And some of you, you have done that. Last no, week, no. there's a youth that say he fought the mother under the tree, tear the mother cloth. I was looking for that youth. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The mother cannot do anything. Somebody was now telling him, see, he's slapping the mother. Some of you, you don't slap your parents, but when they talk to you, you say, leave me alone. Can you imagine? Your parent is talking to you. You are eating and you are moving. You have to repent. Repent. You to repent of this bad attitude. You are disrespecting your parents. Your mother is telling you, your father is telling you, don't dress like this anymore. Don't put on attachment. Don't bleach your skin. Leave boyfriend business. You, they will talk, you will not hear. You continue. When you feel, you go and put attachment. When you feel, you bleach your skin. Anytime you feel to wear any, you don't care. You don't want to know. You think you are doing that. You are doing yourself. You are doing yourself. You are doing yourself. You have to repent. Then read the last scripture there we call altar call. And we, you have to ask God for mercy. Matthew chapter 12, very fast. For you to know that those that are continuing this sin. Matthew chapter 12, verse 43. It says, Matthew chapter 12, verse 43. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry place, seeking rest and finding none. Then let on to, sorry, the one I want to read is Revelation chapter 21. Matthew chapter, Revelation chapter 21, verse 8 and 28, 27, sorry. Revelation 21. All these things we are telling you will not see the kingdom of God, will not enter the kingdom of God, will not see God's face at all. Revelation 21 verse 8, it said, And shall go out to deceive, Revelation 20, sorry, <laughs> I mean Revelation 20, verse 8, it said, But the fearful and the unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, if you die, is the first death. The second one is after Jesus will come and judge the world, final judgment. Everybody will have their reward. You that you were disobedient, you that follow the worldly things, you that choose the worldly style, you will go and burn the second death, which is forever with brimstone. All liars, all monger debtors. Some of you don't pay time. Some of you go up and down, borrow people something. You say, borrow me money, I will pay back. You refuse to pay your debt. You will not see God. Hallelujah. You will not see God. And, read, and let's read verse 27 in the same Revelation 21. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb book of life. Anything maketh a lie, the weaver you are carrying on your head, is it your hair? Is it your natural hair? The eyelash you are carrying, is it your natural eyelash? The false nails you are carrying, is it your natural false nails? 
anything make it a lie on your body will never if you die with it your spirit have been defied because you have been putting it on the body and what you put on the body defile your soul and your spirit because you are disobedient you have had take them away they have spirit in them but you don't believe leave stick all these things trousers for women you don't need to wear trousers men don't wear all these pencil trousers all this as you call it now crazy trousers putting now your saggy Trouser, put down your trouser down, your boxer is out. These are indecent dressing. Why are you dressing like that? Please put this picture there to show a worldly boy and a goldy boy. To know when somebody sees you, they will know you are a child of God. But some of you, you put your trousers down, you bob your hair somehow, you put your Bible and come to church, you are playing keyboard, your muscle is out, you wear body off. You are not a child of God. Don't dress like that. Cover your nakedness. Cover your nakedness. You can see a decent boy and a worldly boy. You can see the difference. When a child of God dress, it cover well, it stand well. But when a, a satanic child that is possessed with demon, see, putting trousers, trousers is down. Which kind of dressing is that? You are not a child of God. So when you go back, all those pencil trousers that when you want to remove it, somebody after you, you can see. When you see a godly child and a wayward boy, you will see the difference. Is it not so? The difference is clear. You will see a good handsome boy dressed very well and a ragamuffin going up and down, a wayward boy. These are not children of God, but they go to church. Pastor said they are the youth of the church. Yeah, you are not the youth of Horimo. A youth of Horimo is a youth that have been transformed. A new youth. When you dress, everybody knows that you are responsible. Hallelujah. And if you want to see Jesus, you want to make heaven, you want to escape hell, remove those kind of dressing those kind of attitude lifestyle all this lying all this rape all all these bad things you have do anger some of you you lie you have anger all this masturbation see when you die you will look at your body and go see you inside the coffin if you die this is all the richness the riches the bleaching the fine face the this the big boy you will look like that skeleton there and then Show them hellfire. That is your ending if you die as a sinner. That is the ending of your life. Play life cry for them. That is the ending. That is the ending. All those that put makeup, eyelash, have unforgiveness, fornication. See, hell is real. You will cry. Your cry will not end. Your cry will not end. I cry. Jesus help me. Nobody heard me. You will see. This man is in the hospital. Fighting with his life. Death has come. Doctor cannot save you. Money cannot save you. Your parents cannot save you. Nothing can save you. When the Lord says it's your time to die. Even if you want to travel to any country, no doctor can save you. If your time and free to die, no prayer can stop it. See, only God that can stop that. But when you say it's finished, it's finished. It is finished. You have died. Fighting in the church. Fighting, fighting with his life in the hospital. Bye-bye. He has finished. He have left this world. The soul is coming out of his body now. You can see, this is what we happen to every soul. His soul has come out of his body. He will turn and look his body. And you will see vanity. And say, so this is my life. Oh. So this is me. Bow. You have carried him. You have left this world. This pleasure that you want in this world. You have entered into hellfire. He's looking up and down. Where am I? I was looking like that. Where am I? What is happening to me? I never knew. That was my last my soul, I was seeing in hell. I was looking, seeing fire. I cried. I don't want to be long here. Jesus, save me. Oh, where am I? Nobody know where I was. They were only seeing my body. My younger sister was praying. God help us. Jesus sent her back. Papa have mercy on her. Finda was crying. Finda was praying. When you die as a sinner, your parents will be crying. Pastor, please pray for my daughter. Pray for my son. You have gone. You are in the midst of those demons you are in the midst of sinner you are in the midst of where torture you will cry you will cry your parents will be crying here you think you will come back 
the Lord will deal with you for stubbornness. You can see how the demons, are, they have cut off the hair. Let me tell you, no matter how they torture you in hell, cut off your head, cut off your hand, you will never die. There is no death there. Don't think of death. Never. You will never die. This one, they are worse than Bokara. They are worse than Fuladiyah's The demon are trained to torture you, mommy. They will torture you. Nobody will save you. You will cry. You can see them fighting in the fire. They want to come out. Oh, Jesus, save me. I will never sin again. I will never lie again. Jesus, save me. See, his body has changed. He's rotting now. The devil has tortured him. The acid all over his body. The fire is burning him. He wants to escape. There is no way. Animals are feasting on their body. Worm is feasting on their body. Snake is passing through their vagina. Those ones that are fornicators that die doing fornication, boyfriend and girlfriend, you can see liquid fire. Those that are drinking alcohol, you can see how they are punishing them. I told you, I told you, it happened to me. Where are you running to? There is no way out. Everywhere is dark. You can see a big stone is going to grind him now. A big stone is going to fall on him and he will not die. He will never die. He will just be crying there, feeling the pain. He will call Jesus. Jesus will not show up. The Lord, you will cry. You will bite your finger. You will say, why I did not listen? Why I did not listen? As I'm talking to you, my mother is there. Since 2001, she died. She has never drunk water. I saw my mother alive. My mother said, don't leave me and my daughter. I beg you, please. Take me out of this place. You will cry. Nobody will save you. I am telling you, your fornication, your lying down, all this secrecy, all this thing you are doing. You think you are a big boy. You think you are a big girl. You think you are a rich girl. I am telling you, the Lord will molest you. The Lord will bring you down. Your money cannot save you. Your father cannot save you. Your mother cannot save you. Your pastor cannot save you. Only Jesus can save you. And if you don't obey him now, you are finished. You are finished. If you don't follow Jesus in holiness and righteousness, you are finished. Satan, you that you are a witch, you are a wizard, Satan will not save you. You will not even see him there because he cannot stand before the king of kings. Examine your life. If the Lord call you today, are you going to heaven? Masturbation. Are you going to heaven? Be showing it, be showing it. Be showing it, different thing. Be showing it. Fornication. Smoking. Lying, murderer, kidnappers, killing, cannibal. These are your sinful things you do. They hire you to kidnap somebody. If they kidnap you, will you be happy? Why are you kidnapping somebody? Why are you killing somebody for money? Sinful dance. You see how the worm has eaten up this woman. They will eat all your flesh. You will become like a skull. See, for we vaunt. They will open up your skull. They will design this hair. You that love your head more than your more than your Christian life. I cannot do without attachment. I cannot do without makeup. This is how they will finish you in hair. You will suffer it. You will suffer it. You will be naked. You will be naked. All these things they will throw you into the fire. You will cry. These are the department for homosexual. They will put hot iron in their anus. See them how they are crying. Hot iron with fire is setting it in their anus, coming out of their mouth. The devil will be laughing at them. Since you like your fellow man to be sexy, you from behind. Why are you crying? Homosexual, lesbian department, adultery department, snake is passing through their vagina, coming through their mouth. Everybody's naked in hell. Everybody's naked in hell. People are crying, regretting their life, regretting their life. They are regretting. They are regretting. See how they are cooking human beings. See the devil pounding human beings like, like fufu. And they will never die. They will smash. See them. They will be pounding them. They will break. All their body will turn to pieces. That is one of the wonders I imagine. I say, God, how do you do it? Somebody will never die. They will cut off somebody else. See the person to two. How you will get hold again, you will not know the power of God. You are here. You are challenging God. You are not afraid of God. He's telling you how you are there. You are hiding. You are covering your sin. You are carrying your ring. You love your ring more than your soul. I pity you. You think I don't have money to buy your ring? I am telling you. 
It is a fearful thing to fall in the hand of God. Dwelling is a sin. Attachment is a sin. Trousers for women is a sin. Naked dressing is a sin. Short skirt, lusting, occultism, fighting, disobedience. One this song, you are playing it, listening to it. You are buying it. Naked dressing, bringing the spirit of immorality, lusting, stealing. Lesbian, all these juju priests, you go and do sacrifice. Bet yourself with blood for power. They were telling me there are some boys they caught here. They have juju ring in their finger. This one is for disappearing. This one is for them not to catch me. This one, you are busting with all the charm you are carrying. You will regret why you go and collect charm. You will regret your life. Occultism, tattoo, putting tattoo on your body. You will regret drugs addicts. You are a drugs addict. Bad one. Your mouth. Those ones that like watching horror movie. Those ones that act horror movie. Those ones that be acting wicked film. The devil is tearing them. This is the truth. This is the sword. It's piercing them into two. Piercing them into two. The man is crying. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. He can be a president now. Maybe this one is a president. He can be a governor now. Regretting his life. Why I did not serve Jesus in the way of holiness? Why I be a politician not in the way of God? Hey! Your money will not save you. Your youthful strength will not save you. Nothing will save you. Your best friend will not save you. Your girlfriend will not save you. Your pastor will not save you. Your parents will not save you. Stand on your feet. All what I have said, you have had for yourself. Hallelujah. You have had for yourself. And you know some of these things, you are doing it blindly. You don't know they were sinful. Watching all this big brother, brother what? All this worldly music, so you have it on your phone. You are busy watching pornography. You are busy downloading these things on your phone. And you have been doing them. You have been doing these things unknowing to you. Watching all this naked picture posting on Facebook. You are commenting on it. You are commenting on sinner's picture. You see a girl dressing naked and you are telling her, Ah, sister, you're looking good. And you are a child of God. Is, he look, is she looking good? You are marrying a worldly thing and you say it's looking good. For you to rebuke them, you are commenting. You are going to tell God, Father, forgive me for using my energy in a sinful way. You know you cannot pray more than one hour. But you can watch TV. You can play on Facebook. What's up? Be online. Until you feel to sleep, you look time. You say, ah, it's, all, it's past 11 no past 12 oh. Because you don't know. But when they say prayer, you cannot pray. Begin to ask God for mercy. Open your mouth and ask God for mercy. He said, jealous God. We serve a jealous God. You have been doing this. He's angry with you, but you don't know. Begin to ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Is there abortion? How many of you have pregnated? How many girls? Busy giving them money. That blood is on your head. And you girls, you have done how many abortions? And you are busy doing it because you try one, you did not die. You try the second one, you did not die. It's sweeting you now. You will regret it. If you don't stop it, if you die in it, if you die without repenting, you will regret it. Begin to ask God for all those abortions you have done. Some of you, you have slept, you have slept with pastors, preachers. You have defied the church. You are sleeping in the church with one another. The choir master, the brother in the choir, the brother in the usher. Oh, you are busy having boyfriend and girlfriend. You are the people that God, Satan is using to defile the church. You have to ask God for mercy. You are stopping that relationship in the church. You are telling that brother, that sister, no more boyfriend again. We will not defile the house of God. You are agents of darkness. Tell the Lord to deliver you. You never know you were agents of darkness. All those satanic dressing, wayward dressing, I will not do it again. Father, have mercy on me. All those makeup, perfume, all these things, Father, I will not put them on again. I will leave my natural hair, natural face, natural color. Oh God, help me. Have mercy upon me. I don't know how many people have defied. They have lost after me and they have been defied. I never knew. Father, have mercy. Give me the grace. Teach me how to dress. Father, show me mercy.
Tell the Lord to show you mercy. Tell the Lord, you have done many bad things. Before the university closed now, you are going back as a new creature. You are going to confess. You are going to confess. You are going to tell the school. You are going to repent. They will wonder when school open. Your friends will wonder how ah, what has happened to you. Begin to tell the Lord to change you. You that used to fight your parents, beat your, your parents, you are going back. Some of you, you fight your elder sister, fight your elder brother. These are all sinful acts. You are going to tell the Lord, I will not fight my elder sister again. I will not fight my elder brother again. I will be respectful to my parents. Father, take away this anger. Anytime this anger comes, I used to do things I don't like. Father, please help me. Some of you, you are wayward. You are not even in the house now. Your parents don't know where you are. Begin to ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. You are going back home from this camp. You are not going back to that friend. You are going home. You are going to apologize to your parents. You are going to be a good boy, a good girl. Begin to ask the Lord for mercy. Some of you are dating married men. You are causing problems in that home. The married woman is crying because you are busy keeping the husband. The husband loves you more than the wife. You are going to tell God, have mercy on me. I will stop that relationship. I will not date that married man again. I will not date that married woman again. Father, have mercy on me for putting asunder in people's home. Because God has said what he has joined together. Let no man put asunder. But Satan has used you to put asunder in that home. You are dating that married woman. Dating that married man. And the man is not showing love to the wife again. He's busy spending all the money on you. You are a gent of darkness. Confess. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. That pastor, you are sleeping with that pastor. The money that is coming to the church for the house of God, the pastor is busy spending it on you. And you are eating it. You are eating cost money. You are dangerous. You are satanic. Ask God for mercy. Stop that relationship. Ask God for mercy. Some of you have slept with Abalis before. All in the name of power. Ask the Lord to cleanse you. Tell the Lord to deliver you. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. All eyes closed. If you know the Lord is talking to you, and you know you are guilty, you know you are guilty. You only profess that I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God. Some of you, even you are a holy child of God, you say you are holy, but you know how you have been defiling yourself in the school. Mixing with mixed friends, talking, gisting, sinful, carnality talks. And you know you have been doing like that. You don't have time for God. You have defied yourself. Secretly, you have defied yourself. Masturbation, you did it one time. You are lost in over a ball. You know these things are satanic, but you don't know what has happened to you. And if you, you know if the Lord come now, truly, I will not make every There are some restitution you need to do. Some of you, you have many debts on your head. You refuse to pay. You borrow and run away. Say, leave me alone, I will not pay. And you are wicked. You are wicked. If you are there, raise up your hand wherever you are. You need second thought. You need the Lord to show you mercy. You know you, you know you are a sinner you know you have terrible anger stubbornness, disobedience your parents are talking to you you are disrespecting them your mother and your father they have cried they have begged you, change you are not listening to them it is a sin, raise up your hand there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the blood of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the blood of Jesus it's going to break every you it's going to cleanse you, raise up your hand and begin to confess your sin you that you are raising up, you are raising very well and say Lord look up on me oh God Jesus I need second thought have mercy upon me have mercy upon me all the evil things i've done oh god have mercy even last year december when we went home to the village i did many things i raped that small girl i finger my cousin oh jesus have mercy on me father have mercy on me little children coming to the house i've been touching them oh jesus have mercy on me ah father have mercy on me lord have mercy on me jesus have mercy on me tell the lord to cleanse you all your naked dressing, you are going to change them. Tell the Lord to take away unbelief. Is it true that dressing will take me to hell? Yes. But there is a power making you to, be, to have unbelief. Tell the Lord to separate you from that bad friends. Some of you is your friend. What will my friends say? They will laugh at me. Ah, I cannot remove your ring. Tell the Lord to disconnect you with those friends. Disconnect you. Some of you is your siblings. Your elder sister or your elder brother or your younger brother or younger sister don't believe. You, you want to believe. He or she will be telling you, I don't listen to them. You will die before that one. 
The one that is telling you don't listen, you will die before her or him. What will you tell the Lord? Give your life to Jesus. You come to this world alone. You will go alone. Tell the Lord. Some of you, your parents, they don't believe in holiness. When you want to give it, they say, don't do it. Tell the Lord, I have decided. Parents, no parents, siblings, I don't care what people say. I am ready to serve Jesus. I will not be defied. I will not listen to anybody. Amen. Raise up your hand as we sing this song. There is power in the name of Jesus. Believe there is power. Believe in the name of Jesus and you will know that indeed there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, to break every chain, 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 break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To wash every sin, to wash every sin, to wash every sin. To wash every sin, to wash every sin, to wash every sin, to wash every sin. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is. Power in the name of Jesus to wash every sin, to wash every sin, to wash. all your sins will be washed out here. Every kind of sin you have killed before, whatever you have done, to wash every. Just have faith, believe in Jesus. Just believe in Jesus. He's going to change your life. I say there is power. It's power. Call on Jesus. Only in the name of Jesus you will be set free. Confess your sin. Tell the Lord. Call on Jesus. In confess it with your heart. Believe that holy him will do it. To break every sin. To break every chain. Every chain. Every chain, I don't know the kind of chain of bondage, masturbation, lying, smoking, drinking, any kind of sin, any kind of chain, homosexuality, whatever chain that the devil has chained you in, he's going to break. I feel the chain breaking, the chain are falling because of Jesus. Call his name, there is power in the name of Jesus. Believe God, He will save you. Sing it with all your heart. Tell the Lord you have a God. Only in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Raise your hand up to Him. Let the chain begin to be broken. Whoa. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Break every chain, to break every chain. 
The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
they believe in you, believe you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I Oh, wow. 